Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see why isn't this union manifesting. So, what is exactly, what is exactly getting in the way of this connection of, you know, your feelings or acting out your on your attraction towards one another? This is going to be a general reading, guys. Please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and let's begin. King of Wands in reverse. That's interesting. Knight of Wands, the King of Pentacles. The Two of Wands, the King of Cups. Okay, you've got three kings here and the empress. Okay, so this is someone who's obviously very attracted to you, right? Bottom of the deck, the two of pentacles. This is someone who feels very drawn to you, very attracted to you. This is someone who um, sees you as very beautiful, very charming, very attractive here. Someone who feels as though they... They're interested in you romantically, and I feel like this is someone who wants to pursue you. Okay, who wants to pursue you. I also feel like this is an energy that once they set their eyes on something or someone, they go after it. Okay, I don't think this person takes no for an answer. I also feel like this is someone who knows what they want, and they go for it. However, the fact that the King of Wands has come up here in reverse is very interesting, because to me, it feels like this person is... Um, this person is quite confident, okay? They're coming across as very confident, very assertive. In fact, I'm going to even say a little bit cocky, a little bit arrogant here. But see, in reverse, it feels like they're a little bit impulsive as well. Maybe this person is prone to act first, think later. And um, it feels like maybe they have already had made, made a move towards you and they may have made, rushed the process a little bit. Or you felt as though they were rushing you. Maybe this is someone who is, you know, who... who quite quickly wanted to make things exclusive or put a title or put a label to it. It just feels like it, it, King of Wands in reverse, they're quite impulsive and they might need to work on, you know, um, just sort of trusting the process here or at least, you know, communicating their intentions here. This person, I feel like this person is... This is someone who they feel like you have options or you have choices or they feel like you could have anyone you want, but they want that person to be them. For it to be them. Okay, this is someone who I feel like really want they want you. They want you badly. I feel like a lot of this is based on and that's not to say that the whole connection is based on a physical attraction. But a lot of it is because they're very physically attracted to you. And maybe because it's the early stages of a connection and they don't know all that much about you. But there is a sense of curiosity. There's definitely a sense of intrigue. Um, in terms of, I don't think that this is someone who is, I think, they're, I think they've made a move. Or I feel like they're about to make a move any time now. Um, but it doesn't feel like this is someone who wants something long term. Okay, I do feel like they are capable of having a long term relationship and you know a commitment here, but at this particular point in time, it just feels like your energies are a little bit imbalanced, and I think this is what's really hindering this connection from manifesting. It just feels like, and even though, as I've mentioned, they wanted to rush the process, you know, they quickly wanted to put to slap a title or a label on this, you know, call you their girlfriend or their boyfriend, make things exclusive here. 
I think it was just for the sake of pinning you down, you know, taking you off the market shelves so that you wouldn't be snatched up by anyone else. Because hey, this person appreciates how attractive you are. Um, and, you know, they want, they're a little bit selfish in that regard, a little bit possessive. And I think it's part of their uh, jealous nature. I think when this person is really attracted or very romantically interested in someone, they can become quite jealous or possessive on it possessive of this person and I think it's their jealousy and possessiveness that really drove them to be impulsive and hey look they're prone to impulsive decisions so I feel like it's only natural for them to make decisions that you know they don't always think through I don't think this person is after commitment I think maybe this is someone who often maybe tells you that they could they you know they want a relationship and they could meet your needs and they meet your expectations but somehow notice how they're actions never quite match their words okay now words lie words can be fabricated they can be embellished words lie actions not so much okay so this is why you need to watch what someone does rather than what they say and what they say and what they do well it's not just in alignment with one another so what's really causing you know what's really preventing this from manifesting is that i think the two of you are misaligned you're mismatched you want one thing they want another you want consistency permanency, stability, they want a little bit of fun, they want to keep it light, keep it casual, okay, um, again, it's not to say they're incapable of it, just at this particular point in time, they're coming up as a little bit restless, look, maybe they've come out of a relationship, okay, maybe they've had, a, they've come out of a really long-term relationship, and they can't do a relationship right now, they just can't do it, okay, they want to enjoy their freedom, or they don't want to feel as if, you know, they're being pinned down here, um, it, it but they might not be ready for it, okay? They might not be ready for it. They might be saying yes to appease you, but there's just a lack of readiness on their part here. They could also be a little bit stubborn because I think the more you push, the further they pull away. So it's a bit of that. Um, they could have commitment issues. That's the other thing that I'm getting. I feel like this person is, I'm getting the notion that they could be an avoidant attachment someone who is someone who has you know avoid an attachment style here okay and um such a style is often developed in early childhood and what happens is this particular style often leads to difficulties forming close relationships as adults here. Okay, so it's avoidant or insecure avoidant as well is coming through. So these type of people may become very independent, okay, both physically, both emotionally, um, and it feels like this is someone who... They've developed in style because they've developed this style because earlier on in childhood they didn't necessarily have their needs met or addressed by you know a parent or a caregiver here. So this is why, you know, at, at the mere mention of a relationship, you know, they might pull away, even though they might tell you, you know, that they want these things. Again, it feels like it's more to appease you. Um, or to avoid conflict here in the connection. But at the end of the day, I see them running here. This could also be a twin flame relationship. And some of you are at this runner chaser stage of the twin flame emo uh, relationship. You know, where emotions get so intense and so overwhelming that all of a sudden you or your person don't know what to do with it. And someone pulls away. Okay, one person pulls away. The other person, you know, can't stand to see this to see this person walk away, so they go chasing after them, okay, it could also be that, yeah, but I do think some of it is insecurities that are plaguing this relationship, whether with you or whether with this person, I'm also seeing emotional or behavioral patterns that are playing out, like, you know, that whole avoided or insecure, avoidant attachment style that is hindering this connection, hindering the growth, and the fact that, you know, the two of you could be on two very different pages here, two very different pages, perhaps across two very different books. Um, and look, yeah, you're attracted to each other, yeah, you have feelings for each other, but that's not going to be enough to sustain this connection. Options, choices, someone here is a bit of a player type that ties in with the narrative of a restless energy. They're not ready for commitment. They don't want to be tied down. They want to, you know, they want to get out there and explore the greener pastures, see if the grass is greener, if the fields are greener on the other side. Um, 
they'll learn in time that the grass is green where you water it most. They'll learn. But someone, it feels like someone here is maybe wanting to keep their options open. And the reason being is maybe they don't feel like the two of you are all that compatible, like something might be missing in the relationship. As I've mentioned, yes, they do feel an attraction and a connection towards you, but maybe it's not enough to just push this, you know, over the line here. Um, there could be someone else, okay? They may be interested, romantically interested in someone else. They might have someone else that they're trying to pursue at the at the same time. And look, I also get the notion of a frivolous kind of energy. The Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. Maybe this person is playing games. Maybe this is someone who enjoys the thrill of the chase, the thrill of the hunt. And once they've caught the chase, you know, it's the excitement fizzles out for them and they're on to the next best thing. I know this is really brutal. This is brutally honest, but let's not sugarcoat things here, right? Options, choices, someone else is getting in the way. They might have feelings for someone else. They may want to keep their options open. And that's what's, you know, getting in the way of forming um, a healthy, stable relationship with this person, amongst other things, right? Um, distance. Some of you, you're doing long distance with this person. And, you know, long distance relationships in general are hard. But, you know, long distance relationships are harder still. So someone here is finding it hard to be... You know, you might be finding it really hard to be away from them. And they too might be very finding it very hard to be away from you. You know, they're missing the affection, the, the passion, the, the physical touch here. So I feel like there's a few things. And again, it I think what it all comes down to is the mismatched energy, the misalignment, the imbalance. Also the instabilities in the energies here. Okay, you wanting something that this person cannot possibly deliver. And they them wanting something that doesn't necessarily you know, isn't in alignment with your needs and your expectations. So that's interesting. Um, okay, guys, and these are your messages. Please feel free to show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to inquire. Bye for now.